Welcome to the Top Gun Show. Today we have, I think, the coolest guy in the industry, <laughs> Vern Jakes with Bullseye. He's the National Strategic Partner Manager, and we happen to be in front of his vacation home on 19 Mile, 19 mile Drive in Pebble Beach. Pretty nice, eh? It's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. And Telesis is having their channel connect here, and uh, it's always great to get back in touch with Vern. Uh, my very first day at Top Speed Data, uh, we had breakfast together. It was raining cats and dogs, and we had, went to this little 50s cafe with the owners of Top Speed. And so um, Fern walked in with, like, golf shoes without the, sp the spikes, and I thought, oh, my gosh, this industry is kind of weird. But <laughs> and I got to know you. Anyway, welcome on the show. Thank you very much. It's, it's, good to be here. it's, it's great to have you on. It's great to have you on. Just, I'm, I'm so thrilled to have you on. Tell, just give it a little value proposition of Bullseye. Where are you guys winning? Why are you winning? How are you winning? Tell us what you do. Um, we're winning with a national multi-location client. Um, we win anybody that has a credit card with lots of locations that ge that's geographically diverse. Um, we had lots of competitors and a lot of them have either gone bankrupt or they went out of business altogether or they've gone up and down. The great thing about Bullseye, it's been organic growth. Yeah. Um, and our account managers are really the key to our success. So with our partner community, we can win big deal after big deal after big deal. Right. And um, the, the dedicated account managers do a fantastic job getting stuff installed. In my 12 years at Bullseye, many have joined that team, but only three have left. So the stability of that organization allows me to stay customer facing with our partners. Yeah. Because you cover the whole country. I, uh, I cover yeah. a lot of the, yeah. And I know we do really well with, with Bullseye. Yeah, you guys made President's Club in uh, January. <laughs> yeah, a nice a nice uh, eighty thousand dollar deal. Uh, it took about a year and a half to do. All in a day's work at Top Speed Data. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we love we love Top Speed. You guys yeah, do great. That's great. Um, I, I, you got to tell the story about where you cut your teeth in sales. I mean, you, you're like the the pure sales dude. There should be a movie about your life. But just tell the millions and millions of viewers. How you got your start in sales? So in the mid '90s, I got a, I was in the Bay Area and I started with a door-to-door -door sales company, and I literally was selling household items door-to-door. -door. Um, examples like going to Chico, California, and unloading 700 Campbell Soup cookbooks in four days. Back in the day, you know, making ah. a buck fifty a, a cookbook. Love it. Or on the weekends, I take. Um, 60 piece Tupperware into the lower income neighborhoods of, of Oakland or San Jose. We called it Mother's Day on the, the 1st and the 15th whenever, 15th when everybody would get their welfare checks. They had a couple extra bucks, we'd get $5 out of their pockets. Or um, you know, the, the 10 piece knife sets that we would sell in the parking lots in um, Oakland, California. The pitch was Este, or Mission District of San Francisco. The pitch was Este Cuchillo es para matar al pollo. Use this knife to kill the chicken. They would laugh, and you'd, you'd make a sale. You make you'd make some money. So, at a very, very, very young age for me, I was working six days a week. I was knocking on 180 to 250 doors a day. Or if I was um, in a parking lot, I would talk to hundreds of people in a day. And it was just an activity model. And that activity model has never left me. It's just part of my DNA. Right. That, that's incredible. You you were telling me a story too about gas stations, right? Somebody come up with, and get gas, and you. You didn't even have a shirt on, I don't think. And you, uh, yeah, what? I was in a little better shape back then, and I would remember, you know, neon was big, so I'd have hot pink shorts and my um, flip flops, and here's some, here's some guy that approaches them selling, selling whatever the wares was. But I was always trying to differentiate myself from everybody else, and it worked for me back then. And what? Well, well, I mean, the results speak for themselves. Yeah, look at this place. I mean, <laughs> it's. It's Don't incredible. tell my kids. They're going to want to move in. It's incredible. Yeah, he's kept it a secret from his from his kids, the home. The home. Anyway, hey, thanks for being on the show today. I it's it's a thrill. It's a thrill to have you on the show. Well, I'm glad we're going to, you know, be out there. Millions will see this. Millions. So maybe billions. Millions and billions. Awesome. All right, man. Thank, thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Thanks for watching.